Okay, I'd like to review my next electric conversion with you. Um, as you know, I have pre uh, previous videos with the, uh, the three-part series with the um, go-kart, the 3,000-watt Conray uh, lithium-powered go-kart. My next uh, fun project was this bike here. Uh, what we have here is a Schwinn Trailway uh, men's hybrid 700C uh, wheel size. It has a standard side pull brakes, um, and I converted it to a 48 volt, 1,000 watt uh, e-bike. So we'll go through the items in it and tell you where what I did and how I how I worked it out. So for starters, let's start with the most important part. It's the motor here. Now the motor is a MY 1018 or 1080. I'm not sure. Um, 36 volt, 450 watt motor. And you're like, well, wait a minute. I thought this was a 1,000 watt, 48 volt. Well, yes, but I'm overvolting it. And before you think that this is a bad idea, um, I actually had a 24 volt motor on here and it ran it for six months before I burned it out. Now, these motors, these the, the ratings on these motors are set um, at 100% duty cycle. So this motor is rated at 450 watts, uh, 36 volts at 100% usage. So they actually can take much higher power than that uh, in, in spikes, which is most of the time what you're doing here. You're not going to run it full throttle all the time. Now you can buy these as a kit that comes with a speed controller, uh, the bracket, which I'll get into that in a minute, sprockets, and then the, the actual uh, sprocket adapter for the rear wheel. Um, this is a hodgepodge of parts because I wanted the extra power. This is a very inexpensive way to have a wonderfully fun uh, e-bike, which we'll show in a minute. The battery is a 48 volt, uh, 14 amp hour battery with a single charge port. Um, I had to modify it um, and get a, a swap out the BMS to handle the extra current. The speed controller is an Alpha Wheels, uh, 48 volt. Uh, inside this wrap of, ta of Gorilla Tape, there is a, uh, a small 3 amp buck converter to change the 48 volt DC down to 12 volts DC so that I can have my tail light and this amazing Cree headlight, which is just awesome. Blindingly bright. I've got my key ignition. Shows 53 volts. I've been running it a little bit, so it's not quite fully charged. See, it wants to go. Your, your typical uh, motorcycle twist. I move my cup holder here, headlight switch, and I've got a nice phone holder too. So uh, the way these 36 volt kits come is they'll come with a little tiny uh, eight millimeter sprocket, like nine tooth that doesn't freewheel, or it'll come with a 12 tooth freewheel or a 16 tooth freewheel. It will come with a 36 tooth sprocket that uses uh, mounts to the spokes with a rubber gasket. Most people don't like those because that will kind of chew up your spokes and bend them. Um, this, however, is set up a little differently. Uh, this is an 18 tooth freewheel and this is a 32 tooth sprocket. So I'm um, giving up a little bit of acceleration for some top speed and this bike will go 26 miles an hour all day long. Uh, now as far as the freewheel, the freewheel is not going to be here. It's going to be here. So this, uh, so it offers a little bit of drag, not much, um, but the nice part about this particular setup is, is that it's very inexpensive. It is fun to ride. You can use the motor to assist. You can use, you can ride it like a regular bike, or you can just do nothing like I do and just ride it like an electric motorcycle. This is 415 chain, a little heavier chain, and uh, uh, that's about it. Now, if you get the, if you get the stock setup where it's got the 36 volt speed controller, 36 volt motor, and you get a 36 volt battery pack, you're probably gonna be about, um, with the standard sprockets set up on it, you're probably going to be about 18 miles an hour or something like that, which 
is is not you know it's, it still works um but uh like i said i had a 24 when i when i originally did this i had a 24 volt motor 24 volt speed control and i had a 16 tooth here and a 36 here and my top speed was like 11 or 12 miles an hour and that really wasn't going to work for me so then i just changed everything out to a 48 volt and i left a 24 volt the same and then I started changing sprockets out. And pretty, pretty soon I got to the point where I feel like this is really optimized. We've got, uh, we've got good pickup or good acceleration. We've got good top speed. And it doesn't even really even get that hot when you, when you run it. So um, the motor seems to be able to handle it fine. I mean, you're really only overvolting it by 12, okay? And you're not running it wide open all the time. And, and for the record, folks, if... Let's just say you did. Let's just say you ran this into the ground until it burned out and it took you six to eight months. This is $80. This is not that expensive. So that's it for the features. It's still a normal um, three by seven. It's still a 21 speed. So I'll go ahead and uh, stop the video and we'll do, uh, we'll do a little run.